next paragraph. The family in which Krishna appeared uh, is called uh, the, the Jodhu dynasty. This Jodhu dynasty uh, belongs to the family descending from uh, Soma, the uh, god in the moon planet. There are uh, two different uh, uh, families, Kshatriya families of royal order, one descending from the uh, king of the moon planet and the other descending from the king of the sun planet. So uh, whenever the Supreme Personality of Godhead appears, uh, generally uh, because he has to uh, establish uh, religious uh, principles or uh, life of righteousness, uh, generally uh, he appears in the uh, Chhatriya family. Uh, Chhatriya family is supposed to be protector of the human race. Uh, that is the Vedic system. So the Supreme Personality of Godhead, when he appeared as Lord Ramachandra, he uh, appeared in the uh, in family uh, descending from the sun god known as uh, Raghuvansa. And when he appeared as Lord Krishna, he uh, did so uh, in the family of Jodhuvansa. There is a long list of these uh, kings of this Jodhuvansa in the um, ninth canto, twenty-fourth uh, chapter, uh, and all of them were great powerful kings. Uh, Krishna's father's name was Vasudeva, uh, descending from the uh, Jodhu dynasty. Actually the Supreme Personality of Godhead uh, does not belong to any uh, dynasty of this material world, but uh, uh, the family in which the Supreme Personality of Godhead appears becomes uh, famous by His grace. The example is given just like sandalwood is uh, produced in, uh, in the states of Malaya. Uh, so um, uh, sandalwood has its uh, own qualification, but because accidentally such wood is uh, mostly produced in the states of Malaya, uh, sandali wood is known as Malaya sandalwood. Similarly, uh, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, belongs to everyone. But uh, as the sun rises from the eastern side, although there are so many sides, similarly, by his own choice, uh, the Lord appears in some family, and that family becomes famous as sandalwood is called uh, Malayan uh, sandalwood.